time comes, we fight the police. But how? Blood, guts, brains if we have to. It may take years, and almost some of us will almost not make it through the entire revolution alive. Maybe all of us. <laughs> fight on, <baby. laughs> Fight on, we will. For all the decades necessary to claim freedom for the people of this land. Decades? How about a real plan? I've got a real plan. What? Miss Pennywise, how did you find us? I knew you'd be here. No one knows the sewer system like you do, Bobby. Or you. Hardwell wants to talk to you, Bobby. About what? He wants to have a discussion with you, man to man. He says he now understands how unhappy the people of this community have become. And he wants to work out a solution with you. Peacefully. There's a shortcut. That will save us on the decades of struggle. <laughs> but can we trust him? Mr. Cladwell doesn't want to fight Mrs. Straw. He just wants his amenities up and running, smooth and natural. That's all he's ever wanted. What do you think, Miss Sally? I think it might be difficult for your love to grow with hope tied to that chair for the rest of her life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go. Bobby, no, what is the trick? That's a chance I'll have to take. Oh. What about the girl? She stays here. Any funny business and she gets it. You tell that to Cladwell. Sure, I'll tell him. Likewise with the girl. Give it to her and we give it to him. We'll be careful. Stay calm, please, darling. We'll get you out of here in no time. I don't blame you, Queenie, who would be hope. But your father gave us no choice. They may not have taught me much at the most expensive university in the world, <laughs> but they taught me this much. Kidnapping people is wrong! <laughs> really? They taught you that there? I thought we had something special together, Bobby. We do have something special together, Hope. But until freedom rules the people of this land, Love is about as much chance as a baby bunny drowning in a vat of boiling water. Maybe less. <laughs> I didn't mean to drive you in all this hope. And I didn't mean to... Oh, I guess I don't know what I meant to do. Well, look to your heart, Hope. I'm sure the thing you're looking for is there. Deep down. Somewhere within the tissues. Wait a minute! When will I see you again?
We have to remix with you, of course. Of course. Miss McQueen, do you remember the stink years, Mr. Strong? The first years when the water table started to drop and just kept on dropping? None of us thought we had much time then, and many of us did questionable things, much like the things that are happening now. There was the looting, of course, and the hoarding. Riles broke out like there was no tomorrow, or there was no tomorrow. But there's always a tomorrow, as long as you're tough enough to cling to it, which is why I've asked you here tonight. Some people see me as an evil man. Oh, no. Oh, oh, six six five. Five. I bet I'm no more evil than you, or Miss Pennywise. All those poor you insist on me. I'm only a simple man trying to cling to tomorrow by any means necessary. And what happens when the drought is over? Over? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can always hope, I suppose. But until then, our regimen of controlling consumption through the regulating mechanism of cash must continue. Ah, uh, yes, the regulating mechanism of cash. Bobby, I want you to have this cash. I want to inform you that the powers that be grant full amnesty for those involved in this week's criminal activities. As long as they're re re willing to return to the improved fee schedule as authorized by the legislature, don't let it happen again. And have a good time in Rio. So many tomorrows. Yes. <clears throat> but I'm afraid my conscience will cost you more than just a pile of cash, Mr. Flagg. But Bobby, it really is an awful lot of cash. Free access is the only cash I'm interested in. I thought we had an understanding, Bobby. <laughs> I understand this. There really is a way to that bright new day. We'll find it together, all of us. Not just the wealthy few. And that means free access. Free access is impossible. And that's what I'll tell the people. Stop! I'm not allowing us to return to the stink years, Mr. Strong. I'm not allowing it. Caldwell, what are you doing? I spent a lifetime building up this company, paying off the police, bribing the political elite, and snuffing out the popular resistance as if it were a naughty baby bunny in the palm of my hand. My, my right hand. I centralized all power to a pinpoint spot right here between these two years. And I'm not allowing some dreamy-eyed boy who can't even remember the stink years ruin all that. Seize him! Don't do this, Caldwell! There's no telling what he'll do to the girl! That's just a chance I'll have to take. He really is as evil as they say. You think just because I love my daughter, I'll stop clinging to tomorrow? Caldwell, what are you doing? I've closed my heart to love once before. I can do it again! Do you